Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mike here at Game From Scratch. And if you look around at modern game engines, you'll see a number of them support C Sharp. Of course, Unity is the front of that list, but Godot 3.1 is adding C Sharp support. CryEngine 5 is adding C Sharp support. C Sharp is sort of becoming the ubiquitous programming language for uh, game development for a variety of different reasons. And a lot of people really like the C Sharp language. And then we move on to Unreal Engine. Now, Unreal Engine's primary languages are C++ and Blueprints, their visual design system. What if I told you that you can actually use C Sharp quite effectively in Unreal Engine? And that's exactly what we are going to look at today. So what you see in front of you is the new project creation view for Unreal Engine. And what I'm going to do is switch over here to new project and you will notice something. I have a C Sharp tab here. And if I click that, you'll see I have two options. I can create a blank C Sharp project or I can use the puzzle template. And I'm gonna go ahead and create the puzzle template. We'll go down here, we will name this guy. Uh, I will call you C Sharp, oh, C Sharp YouTube like so, and we will go ahead and create it. Now you're gonna notice this process goes slightly different than the normal creation process. Uh, a couple of tasks get triggered and fired off, but for the most part, this is just like creating any other Unreal Engine application, just you're using C Sharp instead of C++ or Blueprints. So here is one of the differences. If, when it fires up, it says, C Sharp project code isn't compiled, compile it now. By the way, if you do not get that error message or that warning, you will not have installed the plugin that we we're talking about correctly. Now, of course, we are going to get into that plugin and you'll notice here, I have a pop-up that says new plugins are available. We'll go to manage plugins and you will see U Sharp is the plugin of choice. And that is a very cool. We will look at that in a little bit more detail in a second. But as you can see, this is a straightforward, normal Unreal Engine project. The difference is the code behind the scenes is now a C Sharp project. So if we go to the folder where that was created, so we're here, uh, that is under documents, uh, that would be Unreal Engine projects, and then C Sharp YouTube. You will notice within this folder, there is a directory called managed. Inside this folder, you will find a solution file. I'm gonna go ahead and open that guy in Visual Studio 2019. Now, I don't know if 2019 is a requirement to run your projects. I don't believe it is. It ran just fine in 2017, but 2019 is listed as a requirement to build the project. So something to be aware of. We'll get back to that in just a second. So here we go. This is the project that is created. Uh, the nice thing about this actual example is you will notice we've got um, puzzle blocks, grid, mode, character, and character controller. And each one of these actually shows you how you interface with the underlying um, Unreal Engine object. So you see here, we've got an example of a player controller or, or inheriting from it. Uh, you also see your, you've got your, your usage of properties for exposing things out. Properties and classes can be done via attributes in C Sharp. This is an example of a character, player controller. Uh, we've got an example of a game mode, another actor, and another actor. Okay, so this illustrates how you can interface with the primary exposed classes, just like you would from C++. And in this case, you're using the C Sharp programming language. Now, there are a couple of downsides. We will get to that in just a second. Uh, but as you can see, the experience is pretty straightforward. You're a bit on your own about how to do things, but the nice thing is everything is um, fully uh, exposed. So you see here, you've got the Unreal Engine.engine code. If you want, of course, you're going to get um, full IntelliSense so you can go through and quickly figure out what is going on. You've got bindings for all of the underlying code. So it shouldn't be such a nightmare mapping from C++ to C Sharp for your example. All right, so let's take a look at the plugin that I am using. Now I gotta tell you right up front, this guy is actually building on the shoulders of another giant. So what we're using today is U Sharp by Pixeltris. Now it is an open source project. And as you can see, two days ago it was updated. This is very much under active development and has been uh, for some time now. So that is important, but it is actually based on the mono UE github.io project. I will link to both of these in the link from the link down below. Um, this is actually a project that was started and sponsored by some developers at Microsoft in their spare time. Now, one of the downsides to this project that I've noticed is there is no official license with this code yet. And that is always a bit of a no-no. So hopefully a license shows up. There is a license with the mono UE code if you are interested in checking that out. So this is not a completely standalone project. This is built off of, um, so you see here, right, a project adapts various parts of Mono UE and is roughly similar, but has support for Mono, .NET Framework, and .NET Core. C++ code is mostly P invoked, uh, and the equivalent Mono UE backend code is mostly written in C Sharp. 
So there are two separate projects. I don't actually, I can't tell you which one works better, but I do know that U Sharp works very, very well. I don't know if there's much of a difference here other than the different uh, platforms that are supported. But if you're looking at getting C Sharp started, if this doesn't work out for you, definitely check out that Mono UE project on GitHub as well. Um, now this is the key thing to be aware of right away. This currently isn't usable for most use cases. There are lots of bugs and lacking features. It is under development. Also, it is limited to certain platforms. We will see that in a second. So features are, right, C-sharp using U-object exposed types, such as a actor, a game mode, a UI component. We saw that in the other side. Um, to find U-object types and inherit existing ones, exposed C-sharp types can be used uh, or extended by blueprints, just like you could with C++ code. Access to Unreal's reflection system, hot reload support, which is actually pretty sweet. Dynamically switch between the, your various different runtimes, .NET Framework, .NET Core, and Mono for an improved debugging runtime experience without having to reopen the editor, and supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, what I do find missing there is iOS and Android, uh, or the various different niche platforms. I don't know, and I don't believe they will run. And then you get into the issues and caveats. This project depends on a lot of p-invoked functions, which could potentially uh, behave differently on different C++ compilers. It may not work on some target platform. So that is a big gotcha. So this is really not for production code, at least not yet, but it is an encouraging project just like the other one. Speaking of just like the other one, like Mono UE, this project depends a lot on generated code in IL weaving. It is probably not the best for performance and there's a huge amount of generated code everywhere. Um, so the bindings between the C-sharp language and the C++ stuff underneath, it, it could be ugly. It's system generated and it's all over the place. The weaved IL currently seems to break edit and continue debugging. And there is currently too much marshalling on structs, collections. Basically, a lot of things are having to copy the entire collections. And this could have some performance um, um, ramifications. Additionally, marshalling, marshalling of delegates needs to be redesigned. Um, various issues such as being referenced as a copy of the delegate. And then why was this created? Why wasn't this a contributor of Mono UE instead? Originally, this project was just a way to access the U object system from C Sharp and ended up being basically a copy of Mono UE. The Mono UE compile times debugging process made it hard to contribute starting with a little knowledge of Unreal. So that's why he forked it in the first place. And once again, there is, I, I'm not claiming that you should use one project over the other. All I am telling you is this particular one worked for me. Now, if you're interested in get up and going, there are linked instructions. Uh, I'm not going to illustrate them step by step, but I will say this is exactly what I did and they worked perfectly fine. Now here you can see that one criteria I was talking about. You need to install Visual Studio 2019 with the latest version of .NET and C++ tools if you are on Windows. If you are on Mac OS, you need to install Xcode. Welcome to hell. Uh, if you are on Mac OS or Linux, you need to grab the latest version of the X64 mono binaries. And if you want to run .NET Core instead of the .NET Framework, you need to download the .NET Core 3.0 preview build, which by the way, preview five was just released. Um, and if, in, if you're wondering which version you should work with if you're starting a green new project, they just announced .NET 5, which I did a video about, it should be in the recents view, uh, that .NET 5 is basically going to be .NET Core going forward. So .NET Core is going to get all the functionalities of Xamarin and .NET Framework and become the one true runtime to, to rule them all called .NET 5. So if you're wondering what to use, you're probably best off using .NET Core 3, Preview 5 going forward. Anyways, so to compile it, you basically download the source code right there, drop it into their folder, the um, UE install directory, the engine subfolder, and plugins. And this one is very important. In the zip, it will come out named um, U-sharp dash master. Make sure that you rename that to just U-sharp. Uh, then you open the solution file and compile it. Uh, then run the um, installer. Now, what I found when I ran these uh, when I ran these uh, commands, these two right here, it actually hung my window. So you had to do a control C to run it and do a new uh, version. So you can run this guy, uh, but it will say it's all done, but it will never release back to the script. It will just prompt. I don't know why. So do a control C when it's done running, hit yes to confirm, and then go ahead and run the next command as well. Uh, this was unrequired by me. And then basically that's it. Now we saw the rest of this process when you actually launch Unreal Engine for a new project, you will find that uh, C Sharp is now an option and there is an example project of the puzzle template. And that's a great place to get started. Or as you can see, you can add via edit project settings, you can add U Sharp, um, C Sharp project code to a blank template if you wish to create it that way. And yeah, that's that's kind of it. You can, then there's instructions here on how to switch between the .NET runtimes if you so wish to do so. And you can also uh, force a uh, hot reload via U-sharp runtime reload. Um, 
Yeah, so that is it. That is uh, Unreal Engine running C Sharp code using uh, the U plugin. It's it's definitely it works. Uh, now again, I don't oh, you sorry U Sharp plugin, but I, again, I would not recommend this for prime time in any way, shape, or form. But my experience with it is it, it works really well, to be honest. Um, so were you always looking at getting C Sharp running with Unreal Engine? If so, are you interested in checking this out? I can attest, at least on Windows, if you follow the instructions, it does in fact work. And it is actually really easy to get started and make a new project. And uh, the coding, like you saw with the IntelliSense, it makes it really easy to get started. And the mapping between C++ and C Sharp it's, it's what you think it is, especially the way that um, it's been implemented by Epic Games and Unreal Engine. Uh, they've kind of created their own quasi-language on top of C++ in the first place. So the bindings totally make sense, uh, and, and it's not that hard to figure out, I'm finding. So uh, let me know what you think. Also, did you try that... Um, other plugin, the uh, UE one that already exists? If so, what was your experience with Mono UE? What are the build times like that he was talking about there? Do you find a preference between the two? I, again, I, I don't have a horse in this race. I just used U Sharp because I was exposed to U Sharp and U Sharp worked for me. Mono UE may be just as valid. Um, Again, this one is by Microsoft employees, but on the bright side, this one, oh, <laughs> that's a great license. All right, never mind. We don't have licenses for any of them. <sighs> Anyways, that is it. That is um, C Sharp in the Unreal Game Engine. Is it something you're going to check out? If you do, let me know how the experience went. Comment down below. Or are you already using uh, Blueprints slash C++ and you're perfectly happy? If it might be the case, let me know all that. Comments down below as well. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.